Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well today. I'm so happy to have you back on my channel. It's been a hot minute since I sat down and filmed a video for you guys. And to this video, I thought why not doing a five first impression. I love this kind of video because I found they are not too overwhelming because you know, I told you before, I'm not into the full first or first impression anymore. I think it's a little bit too much for the viewer but also for the creator at least for me and i feel like it's too many products in one go because of all these products mix and match together sometimes we don't really know which product really work which one really doesn't so i feel like you know it's not very relevant but the five first impressions for my video, I love it. I feel like it's my jam, my cup of tea. And today it's very exciting because I have few products that I'm very, very into. Products that I bought while I was in Paris this summer and I didn't get a chance to try them out. So today we are doing it together and I'm very excited about those new products. I cannot wait to share them with you right now. I have some Natasha Delona, Laura Mercier, Fenty Beauty, Kat Von D, Farsali products. So this is the look I ended up creating with those new products. So it's very full vibes appropriate as you can see. So if you want to see those products in action and see what are my thoughts over them, you know what to do, just keep on watching! Alright, so we're gonna start first with the primer and it's a primer from Farsali and it's a primer I've been wanting to try for a very long time and it's the Farsali Skin Tune Blur and it's a perfecting primer serum and this primer is supposed to blur your imperfection, fill in your pores and also has skincare benefits. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was going to be an oil or something like that. Mmm, that smells really good though. I love the smell of it and it feels really good on the skin as well. It's very I want to say soft to the touch. I like that. So I really do love Fasali products. So this one was very one of those I really wanted to give it a try. So all right, feels really good on the skin as I said. So yes, so far so good. Then I'm gonna just color correct my under eye because I do have a lot of dark circles. So this is going to be my best friend, and it's the Becca. Oopsie. <laughs> And it's the under eye brightening corrector that I have in the shade light medium. What is that? I've done my nails today. What is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's bright. I'm sorry, it's maybe because of the ring light. I had to take it out today because the weather is so gloomy and cloudy and we can see even the frog outside so I had to take it out. Normally I do film with natural lighting but the lighting today is just miserable. That's why it's a little bit more brighter than it is in person but it's alright. I'm sure you can understand that. Now we're gonna try a new sponge. So I didn't include, I have few brushes that is going to be first time impression today. I didn't include them into my five or six I have to say first impression because I really wanted to focus on the products but still I wanted to try this sponge it's a Juno sponge finally I got my hands on it and I'm super excited because I saw it on beautybed.com and when I saw that they were carrying Juno I was super over the moon and I was like oh yes finally I'm gonna be able to try it out and we're gonna be using it in this video today and this sponge particularly it's the microfiber fusion sponge and what I like about this sponge first thing first as a first impression is when I touch it, it's very velvet. I love that. It's very different and unique from the other beauty sponge I own. So this is very unique for me and it's the only sponge I have that looks like so and touch also like this. So it's very delicate as well. So I like that. I'm going to dump the sponge and we're going to be using it to apply the foundation. I'm back with the damp sponge and wow, this sponge became huge. I don't know if you remember right before how small it was 
was but now it's so huge and I'm like okay can you see the difference it's the size of the half of my hand it's crazy and it's still very squishy very bouncy and it's also very velvety still even if it's damp so yeah very excited about that I'm gonna be using my foundation from Laura Mercier and it's the flawless lumière radiance perfecting foundation that I have in the shade 3W2 Golden and we've got also a little guide to use that sponge properly and correctly. They do not recommend applying your foundation straight to the sponge actually they do recommend to apply your foundation to any other surface. So I'm gonna apply my foundation on the back of my hand. I'm using two pumps, should be enough. So let's dive in. Okay, so as you can see, there is not much foundation on the bottom of my sponge. So that means it didn't soak up too much product, which I like. And I was able to use all my product all over my face without having to add extra layers or extra product, which is good. I like that. Yeah, so I love it. I love the fact that it doesn't soak up too much product and it's easy to use as well and cannot wait to keep using it for other also applications. So definitely a good one to try out. Now I'm gonna apply my concealer still from Laura Mercier and it's the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 2W. There you go. So I will be using the sponge. It's very different from the other sponge I've used before, so I need to get used to it. But overall, I'm really liking it so far. It's really nice to apply liquid with it, so very happy about that. And I'm sure I will keep using it in the future because I'm really liking the way how it applies liquid products. So glad I got my hand on it. So new product we're gonna try today. It's a product from Kat Von D. And this one is the shade plus light contour duo. So here we've got Lucid, which is a banana powder to brighten and set your concealer. And here you have the shade Sombre, which is the contour shade. I'm gonna dip in the contour shade. Ooh, really nice. I'm really liking the color so far. It's not too much which is great so you can build it up if you want a more strong contour but if you want just a light contour this is such a nice color I like the shade of it and plus I've been wanting to try Kat Von D contour kits but I never really splurged on it because there were so many shades so many contour shades that I knew I wasn't going to use and for me it was like some sort of a waste of money because I knew I wasn't going to use the complete palette so that's why I never really bought that palette, but I'm so glad I found this kit, travel kit. And this one really is what I'm looking for, which is one shade of contour, one shade of eye brightener. So I'm very happy and it really tick all the boxes. Plus it's a travel kit, so it's great if you want to travel because it doesn't take any space and it does the job for you. Contour and brighten or highlight which I love and this shade is really awesome I'm really liking how it looks on my skin tone it's not too grey it's not too ashy either so it's really the right color the right undertone as well oh yes super now I'm gonna take the banana powder which I'm gonna set and brighten my under eye and I will be trying out a new brush from Sigma and it's the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer F64 and I'm gonna take the banana powder and it does brighten, I'm really liking the color as well, it's not too yellow it's a light banana shade and I love that because it really brightens without being too much, without being too yellow under my eye and that's the exact shade I like for my under eye it's banana enough to brighten 
yes yes I'm really liking this duo here and I'm so glad I pick it up and I'm so glad it does exist really <laughs> you don't have to buy the whole palette which is seriously saving a little bit of money as well you know having only two shades it's just perfect I'm so glad I got it this is something I can see myself reaching for it all the time yes I have also another powder I wanted to try out from Laura Mercier and it's the infamous cult beauty product that everybody used to rave about and still rave about nowadays and it's the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder and I know I have never tried that powder ever so I'm finally trying it out and I'm so glad I got it in a travel size so at least if I don't like it I'm not gonna be mad at myself because I spent too much money on a big loose setting powder that I won't be using anymore but normally I should like it because from what I've heard it is really a great powder to set your under eye but also to set your entire face especially for people from combo to oily skin they love that product because it really does mattify your face and it also really help to prolong your makeup as well so this one hopefully i will love it so i meant to use it normally before the banana powder but i forgot i have to be honest with you <laughs> so nevertheless we're still gonna use it right now just to see Ooh. okay it doesn't make it bad on top of my banana powder which is great i'm gonna also put some on my nasals because this is where i get shiny throughout the day a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin as well oh i'm liking that really the powder is very silky as well very soft and i like that yeah it does blur my pores really wow i can see why everybody is liking this product hopefully it's not gonna be too mattifying for my under eye but so far i'm really liking the way how it looks on my skin and i really like the finish of it it's very pretty it's very lightweight on the skin so so far so good now we've got another first impression and it's going to be a face palette and it's the face palette from becca Coucou! <laughs> and it's the Chloe and Malika collaboration. And I've got the one by Chloe because it was the lightest one. And look at this beauty here. So you've got a bronzer, you've got two shimmery blushes, one peachy, one pinky, and you've got one beautiful champagne highlighter. So I'm gonna first use the bronzer here, which is a shimmery bronzer. So it's going to be very nice on top of my contour. The shades are really nice up 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 can we see them so on the swatches they look a little bit light i have to say but let's see how the color pays off on the skin so, let's start with the bronzer first oh yeah it's very light but in a good way because I love it when it's like this because it's light but then it can be buildable so you're not going overboard with your bronzer and this bronzer has also a beautiful undertone and it's very nice it's not too shimmery on the skin either so I love that as well it doesn't look like too much on the skin either so I'm liking that I love when it's satin more than shimmery and it's really what it does on the skin it has more like a satin finish and it really makes the skin and the overall look very pretty as well so yes 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 for the bronzer let's see the blushes i'm gonna take this one here which is the pinky rose gold shade on my cheeks Ooh, i can see that beautiful sheen here it looks like a little bit of a highlight but in such a good way it's beautiful very glowy as well from within and I'm really liking the finish of it and I love that look so much and then highlighter here oh yes this highlight is very pretty too it doesn't really emphasize my skin texture which is a big plus for me very pretty very glowy 
it looks very sophisticated and very healthy looking and I'm all about that look you know looking healthy looking glowy oh yes can you see that <gasps> but this face palette is awesome I'm loving all the colors so far you know what I'm gonna use also the peachy corally one just to be fair let's try not too much because I'm already having some blush on my cheek but just you know yeah so pretty look at that yes they can did such a good job with this face palette yes seriously this one thumbs up I love it definitely without a second thought now for the eyes so i had a big dilemma so i asked you on my insta story i did a poll and i asked you which palette you wanted to see me use as a first impression and i'm going to show you the two palettes i was debating on and it's these two right here so one from tarte and one from natasha delana i'm gonna show you the picture right there of the result of the poll and guess what it was 50 50 so that really didn't help me much <laughs> so i have decided i will be using the sunrise palette from natasha delona because i'm really feeling the full vibes with this one but don't worry about those who wanted to see the tart in action i did film a video that you will be seeing normally on wednesday hopefully finger crossed this is going to be a very relaxing full video so make sure to come back to check it out so before using the sunrise palette i'm just gonna apply my eye primer from mac and it's the pro longwear pen pot in penterly so here's what the palette looks like which is very beautiful you've got so many good full shade got some orangey some yellow some cool tone warm tones pop colors purples so you've got mattes, you've got shimmers, such a beautiful palette for fall as well. So I'm gonna start with morning. So it's a very light color, but it's really nice because it's like a wash of color for my base, which is really pretty. And my inspiration today for the look are this two leaves right there that are spot on full vibes color so this is the color we're gonna be playing with today then i'm taking carnelion which is a orangey yellow matte shade into my crease they are pigmented really definitely pigmented who you have to be light hand with it Now I'm gonna try a new eye brush from Zoeva and it's the 228 Luxe Crease. And I'm taking Jasper, which is a brown marrony matte shade, into my crease but with more definition. Now I'm taking Morgan, which is this lightest shade here, still into my crease just to lighten up a little bit my color. Now I'm taking Azalea, which is this beautiful shimmery, coppery shimmer shade all over my lid. I'm taking again Jasper, which is this brownish, maroony shade on my lower lash line. Taking Morgan again to blend my lower lash line. For my inner corner highlight, I'm taking the Champagne here. From the face palette on my brow bone as well now i'm gonna take this eye pencil from rimmel this is the exaggerate waterproof eye definer in the shade rich brown then i'm blending with the little sponge here also on my waterline then off camera, I'm gonna be applying my mascara from Lancôme Monsieur Big, but also my brow gel from Maybelline, and it's the Brow Precise Fiber Filler in the shade Medium Brown. Okay, I'm back, the eyes are done. I'm gonna zoom you a little bit more, so you can see the shades and the eye look, and I'm really liking the look. I'm really liking the eyes, they are very 
fall appropriate i feel like you've got some orangey some yellows some maroony and it's such a beautiful palette i'm really liking the pigmentation the shades really blend well together it was really easy to create that eye look very fall appropriate i'm really liking the color skin here very orangey and warm so i'm really glad about this palette and overall this palette is really pretty throughout the year not just for falls but now that we're in fall i feel like you can create beautiful fall autumnal looks with it you've got the berries the yellow the orangey the maroonies the shimmers the mattes but also for summertime you can use it as well so it's not like just a palette you can use just for fall but seriously throughout the year this is a palette you can use it's such a versatile palette and i'm really liking the eye look how it turned out so very glad about this palette and i'm happy i got my hands on it now, the last but not the least our last first impression is going to be a lipstick and it's a lipstick from fenty beauty it's the mademoiselle matte lipstick and this one it's in the shade freckle fiesta it's such a beautiful pumpkin orangey warm shade perfect for fall and perfect for this eye look as well first of all the packaging of it is beautiful and the shade is just perfect oh yes i love that color very very appropriate i have to say wow this is the kind of shade you just want to use every day i love this shade it's so beautiful and it's very comfortable on the lips as well so it's not too matte so very comfortable as i said and it just suits the look perfectly the eyes the cheek is just the perfect lip shade for this look and for autumn in general so i know for sure i'm going to be using it a lot and you know what i'm gonna add a little bit more of bronzer because i feel like with this light it just washes off the look and i don't like that so i don't look too light Yeah, this look is so pretty and beautiful for fall i'm just loving everything i have tried today so far seriously the base looks flawless the makeup looks very fall appropriate so i'm very happy overall with all the products i have tried out today and i'm so excited to add this product in my makeup routine from now on hope you also find some gems you may want to try as well if it's the case don't hesitate to let me know in the comment below i hope you enjoyed also this look i hope you enjoyed this video and you had a really good time watching it and if it's the case don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up it really helps me a lot and it also shows me that you really like those type of video as well and if you are new to my channel i hope you will consider subscribing before you leave i would love for you to join our youtube family and i cannot wait to see you in my next video until then stay beautiful Mwah. bye